Hello AOS fans, uh, Robin here. I'm going to uh, show you another FAQ uh, today. Uh, this is in response to Shane who posted on one of my first FAQ videos asking about uh, the contained uh, card. And I think the best way to uh, look at contained is to look at contained and denial in tandem as they are two very similar cards. Um, so if you remember, the text for denial is score this in the third end phase if there are no enemy fighters in your territory. So as I've got here, my little uh, layout here, these, this area here, these are the Stormcast here, and over here I have the Oryx in their territory. So the territory marked out is this bit here is no man's land, everything that is that side is the Oryx territory, and everything this side is the uh, Stormcast territory. So if I was the Stormcast player and I wanted to uh, score denial, I had to make sure that the Oryx are no further forward than this space here. I've just moved that objective. So the Oryx, I have to make sure the Oryx are no further forward than this space here. With this card, I could uh, score denial if it was the third end phase. If we look at contained, uh, the uh, text for contained is score this in the third end phase if all surviving enemy fighters are in their territory. So in this case, no man's land is no good because um, it has to be in their territory. So the Oryx would have to be here. So in order to score contained, if I was the Stormcast player, I would have to have my Oryx there in, in their territory. No man's land would be no use. So that's the main difference between contained and uh, denial, although there is a subtle additional difference. If you read the text of contained, it says score this in the third end phase if all surviving enemy fighters are in their territory. So I could score contained if I two were alive. I could score contained if one was alive, but if none of them were alive, if I managed to kill them all, I could not score contained. And if we compare that with denial, where the text is subtly different, where it says, score this in end phase if there are no enemy fighters in your territory. So if I had no Oryx alive, then to put it simply, if no Oryx were alive, then there were still no enemy fighters in my territory. And so that would count whether they were alive or dead. So contained is actually more difficult to score than denial. Not only is it a smaller area that you have to you can score it in, you also have to have at least one of your enemies alive to keep them contained, whereas you can deny them by killing them all. So that is the uh, major differences between contained and denial, and I think answers Shane's question. So thanks for that, Shane. I hope that was the answer you were looking for, and explain the difference between contained and denial and. Uh, sort of shows that uh, Denial uh, is, is the better card to include in your deck if you were only going to include one. Obviously they're great to include together because you can score a possible six glory at the end of the game. However, difficult to pull off with the advent of the Skaven and they're appearing in your half. So, one to think about. Is Contained Denial still a good thing to have in your deck? I'm not sure. Uh, what do you think? Let me know. Anyway, so that's my FAQ for today. Um, I hope it was useful. And until next time, um, we will see you soon. Okay, bye!